Now, if you've ever had to reinstall an operating system on a PC or install a new operating system on a PC, you know the drill. You have to go to the website where you get the operating system, whether that's Microsoft or a Linux one, you need to download some kind of image file, and then you need to use a tool to convert that to a bootable USB drive, though of course you can still use CD and DVD drives if that's what you want to do, but you need to be able to convert that file into a bootable USB drive. Then you take that USB drive, you boot up the PC and you start with the install. Now there is a tool that makes this whole process way, way easier. Rather than having to take the image file and then use a tool to actually convert it into a bootable USB drive, you just copy the file, normally a .iso file let's say, over onto the USB drive. And if you can copy multiple files over there, one for Windows, one for Linux, one for you know Ubuntu, one for FreeBSD, one for Alpine Linux, whatever it is that you're doing. And then when you boot up from that USB drive, you get a menu. What do you want to boot? You could boot into Windows, you could boot into a Linux distro, and you don't have to do this conversion process process every single time for every OS that you want to boot up. Now it's called Ventoy, it's open source, and in this video I want to show you how you prepare a USB drive to work with Ventoy, in other words how you install Ventoy onto a USB drive, copy over some ISO files and then boot up. I'm going to show you booting up Windows, I'm going to show you booting up Linux. I mean this really is brilliant, makes it a lot easier. And for people like me who do this probably more often than other people do because of the nature of these videos I make, it's a brilliant time saver. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Installing Ventoy is quite simple. You go to ventoy.net. Here is the website. Talk all about the different features that are available. Then you need to go onto the download section and there is a version for Windows and a version for Linux. And when you click on the version you want, in this case I'm going to download the Windows version, it will take you through to SourceForge where then you can download that .zip file. Once you have the .zip file, you need to expand it. So right hand click, I'm on Windows here and go to Extract All and that will give us the contents of the .zip file. Now to run it, you double click on Ventoy2Disk.exe. Now if you get a Microsoft Windows protection error, then go up there and click on uh, Run Anyway. Perfectly safe to run it. This is an open source tool. Then you need to pick the drive that you want to get ready for Ventoy. In this case, J is my uh, USB drive, a 64 gigabyte Kingston Data Traveler version 3. You see there. Now on the left, you can see that this is the version 1.1.05 is the version it's going to install. After the installation, you will see now it tells you on the right hand side that that drive, J, has version 1.1.05. And of course, you throw a new version comes out, you can update your particular drive. Now you can actually go to the J drive and it just appears as a normal drive, even though it's got Ventoy installed on it, it just appears as a normal drive. In this case, it's blank. I can drag over an ISO file and start copying it. And that file will now just copy onto the USB drive, just as you'd copy any file onto a USB drive. Okay, I've actually now copied quite a few files over. You can see Alpine Linux, BSD, there's that Windows one I was copying over earlier. You can have as many as can fit on your USB drive uh, and these all can be booted from any PC that you boot this USB drive from. Now, if once you boot a PC from this and you're using secure boot and you see this security violation, don't have a problem, it's not a problem, you can fix it. You click on OK, you go down to the menu, enroll hash, Go down to EFI, boot, and then go down to grub.efi. This will install the key, just hit continue, enroll the key, yes, reboot, and there you have it, the actual Ventoy menu. You only do it once, not a problem, but it's not uh, just so you know how to do that. So here is Ventoy running. You can go up and down the menus, pick something you want to run. In this case, I went to uh, Zorin OS and you go to boot normal. And now we can see that Zorin OS is booting from that image file. And of course, as with Zorin OS, you can actually just try this, play around with Linux a bit. And then when you're finished, you can reboot and exit out of there. Back in the reboot, we can try something else. So now I'm gonna to go to Alpine. Now, sometimes there is an error when you boot up. So an alternative is to try boot grub2, which is what I've just done here. And by using boot grub2, it will use the grub uh, bootloader that's in the ISO image and use that to boot. And that will bring up Alpine Linux without any problem. So if you can't boot normal, do try boot grub2 and that may solve your problem. And finally here, let's just boot up Windows. Show this is not just about Linux. You can boot up uh, other things as well. So here we are booting up Windows and we could now go through the normal Windows install process if that's what we wanted to do.
Okay, so there you have it, Ventoy. Love to hear your thoughts about it. Do you use it? Are you gonna use it in the future? Please do share your thoughts with me. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then I invite you to stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.